Hi guys, let's look at um, the uh, the makeup of Welfare Members Records Management System. So we have the tables. So we start by checking the tables. The tables we have two tables. We have the contributions table. We also have membership table. So we need to have contribution ID, which is a number. We also have uh, S number. This is just uh, a serialization of the records, auto number, and the primary key. Then we have uh, contribu contribution year number. Then we have the months. We usually have the months January, February, all the way to December, and also the total. This is the total, uh, that is the addition of the total of months. Then you also have the, the dividends. We shall look at how to calculate the dividends. Also, you have the total issued. This is the child table. If now I cross the child table, we go to the parent table. The parent table has a few compulsory fields. We have the member ID, the member name, the cell phone or the telephone number. We have the residence. We have the current year, we have the current month, and the photo. So when we go to current year, you can see the validation, the validation of the current year. We have default value, year, bracket, dates, open, cross bracket, cross bracket, date. Then we need not to feed in a year less or equal to the current year. So in case you violate, we have check here. Here should not exit current year. Then we proceed to the next feed. We have the next month. Uh, sorry, the current month and the photo. Then after having the tables, we have the main query. The query should combine the two tables, the parent and the child table. Then you, ne you need to create joints by equating members id to contributions id uh, the current year to contributions year also the current month to contributions month then those are the three fields that should be equated to make sure that the system uh, works perfectly then on the other hand we have the receipt query the receipt query is just a due bracket of the main query the only difference is that we have the filter criteria we have the filter criteria let me just go back there we have the filter criteria that is the only difference we have the forms main this is leading the contribution id from the mains form that's what it means so basically uh, we have the that query also we have the statement query. The statement query is just a duplicate of the main query. The only difference is that uh, we don't have any filter criteria. So it's just the name that has been changed. On the other hand, we have the calculations. We can look at the dividends. The dividends, we, uh, we have the dividends calculated. We calculate the dividends as the 12% of the total. So this is the dividends. It is 12%. That is 0.12% of the uh, total. Then we have the total. The total is just an addition of all the 12 months, as you can see. So we have Jan all the way to December. That is the total. So whatever you get uh, multiplied by 12% is the dividend. That's what I have done so far. So guys, after I cross that, we have the main form, but before we go to the main form, we have the members form. The members form is just a form created using the wizard, whereby we have the the members ID, members name, cell phone, residence, current year, and current month. Basically, these are feeds from this field, this table, members table. So that's what I have done. Then we have the the main form. This is where the, the big elephant in the house comes on. So here you have to bring all the months 
you you press them on top of the other you see from january february you see you press all of them on top of the other that is that then you have the the current month you have to we have the contribution month and the current month so you press them on top of the other also when talk we talk about the current year and the contribution year you place them on top of the other also the contributions id and the members id you press them on top of the other so if you have been uh, watching my videos i have done a lot on this then these buttons up here are toggle buttons these are toggle buttons so if uh, you click on any of them like now if i minimize or collapse the ribbon if you click any of them then go to property sheet you realize this is a toggle button i just click on it then type the name this is january wherever 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 then to type the code you just click on it then go to event procedure on click you choose event procedure hit the three lines or the three dots you'll be in a position to see the codes so these are the codes written on various uh, toggle buttons so guys you can download a copy of this program from my website so that you can be in a position to see all the codes or the vba codes that i have assigned then guys we also have the receipt so i go to design view you see how the receipt looks like this is my receipt this is a, a report in design view so i have just added a group here by clicking on add group then you choose the field name then after doing that uh, you use an embedded macro right now if i go to main go to design view hit on print receipt then go to properties then event you will see i have used embedded macro rather than an event procedure what you do you just leave this part blank and hit the three dots then you hit on the embedded macro then from there you can be in a position to see uh, what to choose from that so you can watch my previous videos on vba uh, programming to be in a position to know how these things happen then we have hide or display ribbon i click on it go to property sheet go to event on click then we also have on double click when you double click you see the code the code is um, <coughs> on double click the code is do uh, cmd dot show toolbar ribbon yes so it di displays the ribbon when you click on it it hides the ribbon that is the code so you can just down download a copy of this uh, program from my website the codes are free of charge and you'll be in a position to see everything that you deserve so guys remember to subscribe remember to like my videos and also share them with your friends thank you very much